Translation. O oh, the unlimited reservoir of transcendental qualities. Oh, 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 the unlimited no. My Lord, you have killed my father Hiranyakashipu and saved, and saved my life from the sword of my father. And he said very angrily, if there is any other supreme controller than myself, then let him save you. I shall now separate your head from the body. Therefore, for both reasons, I consider that you have acted at present just to prove the words of your devotee truthfully. And there is no other cause. Masprana Rakshanam Ananta Pitur Vadhascha Manne Sabhita Rishivaka Ritang Vidhatam Kargang Pradhicha Jadabhocha Asad Vidhisu Tam Ishara Madaparo Abhutakam Harami So, before Hiranyakashipu was killed by his <coughs> lordship, uh, <coughs> Nishingadev, Prahlad Maharaj never addressed his father as father, Pitu. Now, after his death, he is addressing Pitu, my father. <coughs> because before his death, he was demon, everyone knows. But if a demon is killed by the Supreme Personality of Godhead, he becomes liberated either demon or anyone, demons are generally killed by the Supreme Personality of Godhead, they enter into the impersonal Brahma. Therefore there is a verse, I don't remember exactly now, that uh, the monist and the demons, they go to the same place, impersonal Brahma. And what to speak of devotees. <coughs> devotees never enter to that impersonal Brahma. Devotees enter directly in the Vaikuntha planet. Mahaveti. Mahaveti. Krishna says, Takta dihang punat janvanaiti mahaveti. nivartanti taddhamam paramam. If you enter the Vaikuntha planet, there are innumerable Vaikuntha planets, and above them there is the uh, Golok Vrindavan planet, Krishna Loka. So, in either of them, if you enter, then that is not impersonal, personal. Impersonal Brahma is outside, although uh, impersonal Brahma is also spiritual existence, but it is outside the Vaikuntha planet. So the demons and the impersonalists, they cannot enter into the Vaikuntha planet. <coughs> and because they cannot enter into the Vaikuntha planet, they again fall down. Uh, again fall down in this material world. Arujya kritchena paraṁ padaṁ tataha patanti adha anādita jusmataṁ raya. Patanti adha. Adha means in this material world. 
and those who are impersonal is, they may enter into the Brahma effulgence, Arujakachena, with severe execution of penance and austerities. The Mahavadis, they perform severe austerities, those who are actually Brahmavadi. Their mode of life is very, very strict and severe also. <coughs> so even after severe penances and austerities, one enters into the Brahma effulgence, there is no security. Why they come down? Anadita Jusmat Angraya. Because they did not get the information about your lotus feet. That means person. When we speak of feet or hand, that means uh, the Supreme Person. A person. But they do not accept the person. That is their difference. They will never accept that the Absolute Truth is person. Therefore, they fall down again and again. Bhutya bhutya praliyat. The Pralad Maharaj says, Matprana rakshanam ananta pitur vadhas. The two things are there. When Krishna incarnates, there are two things. What are the Paritrana sadhanam vilasaya to duskita. Two things. So here two things have been done. One thing is to say Prahlad Maharaj, Paritranaya Sadhana. And another thing is Vinasaya Sadhuskita, Yuge Yuge Sambhavami. So actually, uh, Vinasāyata-duskitāṁ, it doesn't require the presence of the Supreme Lord. The nature's arrangement is so strong that anyone can be finished within a second. Anyone. There is no need of Krishna's taking so much trouble to come here. But He comes especially for deliverance of the devote, uh, bhakta-vassa, and side work to kill the demons. That is not his business. Uh, the māyā, the Durga-devi is sufficiently powerful to kill any demon within a second. There is no difficult. Simply by ordering māyā, or māyā does not wait the order of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, she can understand what the Lord wants. Simply, little indication, she can kill hundreds and thousands of demons in one stroke. Sisti sthiti pralaya sadhana shakti reka chayi vajasya bhavanani vivarti durga. Sisti sthiti pralaya. She can do that. So, it is not the business of the Supreme Personality of Godhead to come to take this balaration. But uh, why Lord uh, Nishinga Dev appeared? Uh, he appeared, one thing is uh, that matprana rakharam. This is one business. Another business was this. What is that? Na Sabhritya Rishi Bhakka Ritanga Vidhata. Sabhritya, Brahma, he is Vritya, servant of Krishna. So he did something very, I mean to say, obnoxious by offering all the benediction to, to Hiranyakashipu. He was, he was a very cunning materialist. 
First of all, he asked for becoming immortal. But when he learned that that is not possible, then he thought, I am very intelligent diplomat. I can screw out my fulfillment of desire in an indirect way. They, all these people in this material world, they have got a cheating propensity. Out of four deficiency, one deficiency is cheating. Everyone uh, one wants to cheat his fellow man. Uh, eh? Man or beast, everyone. Uh, <coughs> even the dog, cats, they are also. Uh, you know the story? The dog wanted to take another flesh from the mouth of another dog, reflection, and he lost both. So this cheating, this misuse of intelligence is going on, but that is never successful. It will never be successful because Krishna is always more than you. If you are a cheater, then Krishna can cheat you more than what you know. That Krishna knows. Otherwise, how Krishna can be? God is great. So if you want to cheat Krishna, he can cheat you more than what you know. So that is not possible. Therefore, this Hiranyakasipu thought himself to be very intelligent and wanted to cheat Krishna and his servant, but he was cheated, actually. Uh, therefore he said, tadvitta rishivākka ritaṁ vidhātaṁ, rishivākka. Uh, even the devotee or the servant of Krishna says something, even it is wrong, Krishna fulfills. Konte apradi jāni hi nami bhakta pranakṣati. So even it is wrongly done, still Krishna fulfills because uh, he thinks that my servant has promised it must be fulfilled. Therefore, Prahlad Maharaj, in the previous uh, verse, he has said, tava bhitta pars. Uh, you know, to serve the servant of Krishna is better than to serve uh, directly Krishna. Because if the servant of Krishna promises something, if the servant of Krishna says, I will take you to Krishna Loka, you must go there. Even Krishna cannot do that. Uh, he can, I mean to say, that he does not say very easily. Uh, but if a servant, dasya prasadas bhagavat prasad. Therefore our philosophy is to please the servant of God. Tadvitta, bhitta bhitta Then it is very nice. Uh, the success is. So here it is said that sabhritta rishivakka ritam vidhātum. So Brahmā gave him benediction. He asked, sir, I will not die at night. Yes, that's all right. I will not die in daytime. That's all right. I will not die in the sky. That's all right. On the land. That's all right. On the water. That's all right. No animal can kill me, that's all right. No man can kill me, that's all right. So he thought, now I am secure. There is no death. But Krishna is so intelligent that he killed him, not at night, not in day, not in the sky, not on the land, not in the water, not by animal, not by man, all things, ritam, yes. Everything can still you are skilled. You are skilled in the evening, which you cannot say it is day or night. You are skilled on the lap of the Lord, you cannot say it is sky, land or water. He he did not kill him with the open weapon, but he killed with his nails. 
In this way you will find that he kept everything intact. What benediction was given by Lord Brahma? Ritam vidas. Yes. At last, of course, he little chastised Brahma that you should not give uh, such benediction in future. This is botheration for me. <laughs> but still he kept his servants' promise intact. The, the demand was also killed, and the promise given by a benediction given by Brahma, uh, everything, that is the action of the Supreme Personality. In one stroke he is doing so many things. Uh, he is saving Prahlad Maharaj, he is killing Hiranyakasipo, he is keeping intact the promise of Brahma, everything, that is God's intelligence. Uh, our intelligence, however diplomatic may be, if we want to do anything, another thing is not manage nicely. But Krishna, that is called all potency. When he does something in in a moment he can adjust everything. Even opposite actions he can adjust. That is Krishna. Therefore he is called all power. Uh, we cannot do that. <coughs> so Matprana Rakshanam Mananta Pitur Badhasta Manne Sabhita Rishibhaka Ritanga Vidha. So your incarnation is there for fulfilling so many objectives. <clears throat> and especially eh, there was challenge by my father taking his sword, Kharagang Pragija, Jadabhuta, Asad Vidhit. Asad, I shall kill you. Uh, this is Asad Vidhit. To say like that, I shall kill you. Nobody can kill anyone. This is asat. Uh, I shall give you, I shall kill you, I shall protect you. No, you cannot do anything. Balasya neha saranam pitaro. Nobody can do anything unless it is sanctioned by God. You don't promise anything. Uh, therefore a devotee always uh, says, if Krishna desires, it will be done. That is the fact. That is the fact. <coughs> So when Hiranyakasipu was very much proud, unnecessarily challenging Prahlad that you are not accepting my philosophy that I am God, you are searching after another God, all right, let me kill you. I will see how your God can give you protection. That was his challenge. So Prahlad Maharaj knew it that unless Krishna desires, you cannot kill. Uh, therefore it is asat-vidhi. If one is very much proud and challenges the authority of the Supreme, uh, that is asat, that is not sat. Rakhe Krishna mareke, mare Krishna rakhe. Prahlad Maharaj knew it, that you may challenge me, but I know you cannot kill me. He was confident, devotee. Uh, all right, I am, he is also challenged. I am challenged. I mean, I also challenge. I am standing here. Let me, let me be killed by you. That is not possible. <coughs> so, asat with his truth. Mad aparo abatu kang hara. It was challenged by the Hiranyakasipu that you are searching after uh, another god than me. Uh, now I shall kill you. Let me see how another god. This is demonic. The demonic means uh, atheist and uh, unnecessarily, falsely, uh, very much proud of their knowledge. This is the morning. Uh, this morning, as I was talking, they, they, they falsely, the so called scientists, they are falsely proud and challenged. There is no God, everything. 
that is a demanding. So in the Kali Yoga, <coughs> the demanding spirit is very, very prominent. Everyone is thinking, I am God. Uh, so it is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's mercy to cure all these uh, madmen. Uh, mad. Pishachi paile jano matichanna hai. Mayagastha jiver shai dasha upur. Pishachi, ghost haunted. A man is ghost haunted. He speaks all nonsense. Uh, in this age, Kali they are mostly like that. They speak all nonsense. Uh, we should be careful not to accept that proposal. We shall stick to Krishna consciousness. We shall accept what Krishna says and reject everything. Then we will be saved. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna.